since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. so busy since I came back on board the love sub. You know, all those prophets that I met when I was traveling in time, they became my pen pals. And these dudes like to talk a lot, so I've had a lot of mail to catch up on. Like this letter from Jeremiah, all he says is, warning, look up. What do you think he means by that? All warning, right. look up. What? This is a kind what? of... Whoa, 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 dude! Oh, look, whoa. This, this I'm down got... here, dude! Oh, sorry, dude! <laughs> Yo, look out below! All right. <laughs> You're supposed to shout look out below before you slide, man. Uh, I'm sorry, Uncle Woodstock. I was just super excited because Handsome's going to give me a box of delicious barbecued chicken wings. <laughs> and, man, am I ever hungry. <laughs> Dude, you are always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Hey, so what are you doing? Uh, I was just answering some mail, you know. Oh, mail? Well, who's it from, Uncle Woody? Well, this one's uh, from my old buddy Woodstock. I mean, no, no, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Up here in the corner, it's from uh, Ezekiel. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, Ezekiel. Yeah. I totally know that dude. He's like a major prophet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, open it, dude. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Oh, that's weird. It's just full of sand. Oh, wow. <gasps> I think I know what Ezekiel wants to say. He's saying, don't let your spirit dry up like this sand. Whoa. Yeah, you see, Ezekiel loves to use word pictures. Like this one time, God gave him a vision, and he saw this giant valley, and it was full of something really weird. Only, I can't remember what. Huh. I know it had some, it was a, was it jello? No, oh. it wasn't jello. Oh, oh what's I up, know. handsome? Oh, you got my chicken wings. Oh, whoa, what? Whoa, this box is empty, dude. Hey, hey, come back here. Hey, hey, come back here, you greasy little greedy hand. Hey, what am I supposed to do with a box of dry bones? Hey, dry bones? Yeah, Dry dude. bones, that's it. No, dude, there's no more meat on these bones. No, no, I mean, that's it. That's what, Eze that's what God showed Ezekiel. He showed him a valley full of dry bones, and he told him to prophesy over the bones. Whoa, that dude, like, talked to bones? That dude's freaky. Oh, no, 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 no. God told him to. He wasn't trying to be freaky. See, God was just telling him. It was God's way of showing that he can bring life from anything, even from a valley full of dry bones. Whoa, that's totally crazy, dude. So, like, you can get life from bones? Dude, my dog's going to live forever. No. The life doesn't come from the bones. God brought the bones to life. Oh. Hey, you know what? Let me get out the power source and I'll show you. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you, you missed a few, man. Yeah, here you go. Awesome. Oh, it's on this side. Here yeah, we go. Uh, whoa. Yeah, here it is. Uh, dude, you're going to need all the power in the world to get me to understand this story. Well, see, that's just the point. See, God has all the power. Uh -huh. God told Ezekiel to speak to those bones and tell them that God was going to connect them so that they became whole bodies with tendons and skin. And then God was going to breathe life into them. But, dude... 
That's impossible. Well, that's the point, man. God made the impossible happen right there in front of Ezekiel's eyes. Whoa. Actually, let me ask you a question. What is deader than dry bones? Dude, is this a riddle? There's nothing deader than dry bones. Yeah, and yet God made a whole valley full of bones turn into human bodies that stood to their feet like an army. Whoa, dude, the bones just got up and walked around. That would, like, freak me out, dude. No, 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 the, bone, no, the bones didn't walk around. God connected the bones to make people. And then he put muscle and skin and everything on them. And then those people stood up on their feet like an army. Whoa. See, God was showing his people, the Israelites, that he is the only one who can give us new life. Whoa. Their sins made them dry inside, just like those dry bones, yeah. see? But then they could have new life if they would just turn to God. Whoa. Ezekiel knew that turning to God was important, for he knew that God would judge them. God said this, therefore, O house of Israel, I will judge you. Each one according to his ways, declares the sovereign Lord. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> well, that Ezekiel dude must have been really fun at parties. <laughs> oh, no, no, dude. Ezekiel wasn't trying to freak people out. No, he was just telling his friends what God had shown him in the vision. Uh. Yeah, he was saying, repent. That means turn away from your sins and turn back to God. Whoa. Here, Shiloh, read the next part. Repent. Turn away from all your offenses, then sin will not be your downfall. Huh. Whoa! See, man? See, that's the choice. When we turn to God, he forgives us. When we turn to God, we are choosing new life. Whoa, so like what happens when we do choose life? Oh, only get the greatest promise in the world. Let's search for it, kids. Yeah, dude, get out like your periscopes. I know it's out there in the ocean somewhere. This is a really important uh, oh, promise. Oh, there's jellies. What's up, jelly yes. kids? God gave this promise to all the Israelite people. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. You will live in the land I gave your forefathers. You will be my people, and I will be your God. Whoa, what a groovy promise. I told you Ezekiel was cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. Whoa. So you're saying that like God can give us like a new heart and like a new soul and a whole new life? Yep, and he can do it as easily as he brought those bones to life. Whoa, imagine how much you could love someone with like a brand new heart. <laughs> I bet I could even forgive a certain chicken stealing hand. <laughs> ah, come here, handsome. I forgive you, buddy. <laughs> Dude, when God gives you a new heart, you just want to love everyone. Yeah, even a little chicken thief. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, kids? We're going to go and pray that God gives a new heart and a new spirit and a new life to each and every one of you. But until next time, remember, no matter where, where you, you are, are in time, time, say it with us. God is good all the time. Peace. All right.